Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good, as usual. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about something that possibly a few hundred people have already addressed. But um, you know what's fucked up about me is that I watched the original video by Dawa Films that everyone was up in arms about, right? And how did I reply? I didn't even fucking mention what the controversy was all about. I, it's, like, it's like I didn't even fucking notice it. What did I do instead? Instead, I made a video reply where I, I'm bitching about Dawa Films and his opinions of, of science and the way he looks at what he called, quote-unquote, enlightenment thinking. And that's where my focus was uh, because those are the things that are important to me. To be honest, when I first saw this, this video by Thunderfoot, it didn't get much of a reaction out of me. And then when I first saw the video that Dawa Films did it in response, same thing. I didn't react to that statement that he made at the end of the video where he's talking about how if, um, you know, you awake the sleeping giant, yada, yada, whatever the fuck his choice of words were, he's already made a video where he sort of apologized for using the strong words that he did and requested that Thunderfoot would do the same maybe and clarify some of his statements. Now, I have to say this. When I first watched Thunderfoot's video, it's true that the statements that he made appear to be generalizing Muslims. I mean, because that's what the fuck he says in the video, isn't it? Doesn't he say Muslims? He doesn't say radical Muslims. He doesn't say violent Muslims. He says, you Muslims. Muslims did this. Muslims did that. And I get that that's the, those were his choice of words. But then I, I've watched this video now, for the, actually for the first time, like, just recently, and then a few times more today, so I could try to get, like, a better idea of what Thunderfoot was saying and, and what people were reacting to. And I understand that he, that he said Muslims, right? But then I'm watching the video, and every picture that I see is of a radical, violent Muslim. Like, like I, I, I don't see Dawa films or... or, or or people being depicted that aren't making threats in the video, right? You, you see what I mean? I, I tried to watch Thunderfoot's video from the perspective of a Muslim, which is damn near impossible for me to do, but that's what I tried to do. Like, if I'm a moderate Muslim, okay, and I'm watching the video, how will I feel about Thunderfoot's video? And I watched it, and I watched it, and I tried to be critical, and I tried to get angry and everything like that. And I realize that I'm not really a Muslim. And it's a fucking different story for people that are. But at the same time I'm watching. I'm going he's talking. About violent radicals. Isn't it obvious? I mean he's got people. In the video. Muslims of course. In the video who are holding signs that say. Europe take a lesson from 9-11. Who are holding signs. Get ready for the real holocaust. These are violent radicals. Now, not once, if I were a Muslim, if I were going to be angry about anything, I'd be angry that uh, members of my own religion, people who claim to share the same faith that I did, were behaving in, the, in this reckless, fucking destructive, dangerous way. And I'm sure that, that Dawa Films is upset about that. And if you're watching this, I, I would imagine that this does not please you. You, you want your religion to have a decent reputation. Now, I, I'm going to say something in this video that's a lot more controversial, or hopefully more controversial than what Dawa Film said, although I doubt that it will be. And that statement is, if you crawl through my window, and I feel that you're a threat to myself or the people that I care about, I'm going to open your head for you. Okay? Now, that's a violent fucking statement. That is a violent fucking statement to make. But it's goddamn true, and I mean it. And on top of that, I'm not a violent person. But I will defend, with violence if necessary, the things and the people and, and the ideas that I am passionate about. And it seemed to me that in Thunderfoot's video, when he, when he made the statements that he did, that he was addressing violent radicals. And he was saying that if you're going to be violent, a response in self-defense would not be uncalled for. A, a, a response, you know, using violence against violence is not always uncalled for. And it seemed to me that when I was watching Dawa Films reply to Thunderfoot, that, that that's what he was saying as well. That, you know, 
if you are going to violently threaten me, then respect a, a similar reaction. And if if you're not going to defend the things that you're passionate about, why are you passionate about them? If you're not going to defend the ideas and the people that you love, even if it comes to that, even if it comes to violence, then why are you passionate about them? I'm not saying go out and threaten people like a radical Muslim would do or, uh, or any sort of radical. I'm not saying bomb an, an abortion clinic. But if somebody comes after you and your ideas and what, what you hold dear or maybe even your loved ones, I mean, isn't it a sane reaction to defend those things? I, I mean, wouldn't most of you say that in defense of free speech, if you had to, that you would be willing to act violently or give up your own life for freedom? I mean, isn't that fucking important? Um, however, the, the thing that really confuses me about the whole situation, and then I'm going to let it go, I don't understand, Dawa Films, why you felt Thunderfoot was talking about you, right? Now, I understand that his language that he used in the video would suggest that. Like, if there was no video, if it was just some guy going, the Muslims are attacking South Park, which is essentially what he said, or the Muslims are threatening South Park, yeah, you'd probably take offense. But you know from the fucking video that he's talking about this organization, and they happen to be Muslims. Now, this whole, it, it sounds to me like this whole drama could have been averted had Thunderfoot just said something like, I'm not talking to all Muslims, and just sort of threw that sentence into the mix, then you wouldn't be so upset, or you wouldn't have been so upset about it. But, but you have to understand, Dawa Films, that God dogma does lead people to this place. It leads people to be violent. Um, uh, Lantum Way is a YouTuber, and earlier today I saw a video of his in which he said, religion is designed to infringe upon the rights of others. That's not word for word, but it's pretty fucking close. Religion is made up in, in such a way um, that, that it's basically fucking designed to infringe on the rights of other people, and it is. You know, you have to understand, Dawa Films, that when your philosophy includes a God that is greater than all of mankind, then only that God's wishes become relevant. And people who believe strongly enough in that God will be more than happy to act aggressively on its behalf. And that's just the way that it is. You have to understand that. Um, I'm rambling a little bit. If you're religious and you're a moderate, you have to understand that your religion does breed a lot of this shit. You might not be that guy. You might not be that guy. I don't think anybody who made the statements that they did really owes anyone a fucking apology. I don't think Thunderfoot needs to clarify anything, and I don't think Dava Films, I don't think you should have um, apologized to anyone, really, unless you felt you fucking wanted to. That's fine. Um... But it sounded to me like you were making a statement quite similar to the one I made just a moment ago. If you climb through my window and I feel that you're threatening myself or my family, I might open your head for you. That's a lot more violent than anything either of these cats have said, and I'm not being fucking cryptic about it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of all I wanted to ramble about today. And um, peace. Good afternoon.